President Trump sent a flurry of tweets out over the weekend. So what do you have to say? Yeah, Fox News correspondent Caroline Shively is in Washington with more. Even though the initial part of the president's trip to Florida was spent meeting with those involved in last week's high school shooting, the majority of his time was spent at his estate in Mar-a-Lago, where even by his standards, he was unusually busy on Twitter. A Twitter storm coming from the president over this three-day weekend. Mr. Trump firing off over 20 tweets following his visit with Florida shooting survivors and first responders. The Post covering a range of topics from NASCAR to Iran to Oprah, but by far the majority addressing Russia. One saying, quote, the only collusion was between Russia and Crooked H, the DNC and the Dems. Another adding, if it was the goal of Russia to create discord, disruption and chaos within the U.S., they have succeeded beyond their wildest dreams. Plus today, the president calling out President Obama, asking why he didn't do something about Russian meddling. Vice President Mike Pence in an exclusive interview on Fox and Friends this morning, also addressing the Russia topic and special counsel Robert Mueller's recently released indictment of 13 Russian nationals. There's no suggestion that there was any impact on the outcome of the election, despite what these indictments suggest. Three of the president's tweets address the shooting at Stoneman Douglas High School. Two casting blame, first on Democrats, questioning why they didn't pass gun control legislation during the Obama administration. The second, criticizing the Federal Bureau of Investigation, saying, quote, very sad that the FBI missed all of the many signals sent out by the Florida school shooter. This is not acceptable. They are spending too much time trying to prove Russia collusion. Some of the students who escaped last week's shooting fired off their own criticism of the president's tweets, accusing Mr. Trump of being needlessly divisive. This Wednesday, President Trump is planning to host a listening session with students and teachers from Florida. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.